buddies and welcome to this latest edition of 4.0 and below and today we're going to ring in 2020 by giving you the last haul of 2019 and to start with um, and also we're going to um, catch up on our 2019 goals and see how we did I think we did pretty good but the proof as they say is in the pudding and so here we go first up I think we might have my favorite eBay lot win of the year. Um, starting with Beware number one. Someday I'm going to have all these old Marvel Monster books, these reprints, because I just think they're great. But anyway, I got the first Beware number two. Uh, five issues of this. And, you know, I didn't pay a lot for it. I think I paid 30 for the lot. And so, you know, like six bucks a book. And, um, but god dang these are so pristine guys the pages are chalk white and they're absolutely wonderful there's number three and number four the thing on haunted hill and lastly number five we got an arranged marriage with my son the monster uh oh Dun dun dun. Okay. Also, picked up another eBay lot. Got the first three issues of Speaking of Marvel Horror from the Bronze Age. Dead of Night, number one. Dead of Night, number two. The House That Built Fear. And Dead of Night, number three. Okay. Now, someone told me that there was a new hobby shop here in town. And it's kind of a catch-all. Trading cards, gaming, you know, all kinds of stuff. And they also told me they had a bunch of comics there. And so I went and looked. And there's probably 30 or 40 boxes of comics. But it's just like the that other game stop here in town. I think they bought someone's old stock from a shop to close down because it's all mixed up you know you can dig this it's it's just like it's not really sorted really well but again that just drives me bananas and the pricing the reason why i think it's an old uh stock from a comic shop that probably imploded sometime in the 90s because the pricing is a little on the high side for these books so it's like i think the last time they were priced probably maybe 93 or 94 maybe and so but anyway i dug around and um, I was kind of short for time, so I didn't get a chance to dig too much. But I did uh, pull out um, a Justice League 220. And a Justice League of America. Or, that's 220, also 219. These are out of order. I apologize for that. Um, basically, this kind of explains the origin of uh, uh, the Black Canary. Because for the longest time... It's so convoluted. DC was this is like pre-crisis, I think, and um, so <laughs> the Black Canary was the original Canary from Earth Two, or from Earth Two, yeah, the World War Two Earth Two from the JSA Earth came over, but then it turned out it was really her daughter, and this kind of tries to explain everything, and it's just it's kind of goofy. But anyway, this is sort of the secret origin of the Black Canary that we all know and love today, and also found. A Justice League Annual number two, which is actually a pretty good price. I think it was like five bucks, and that was like the, that's the first appearance of Vibe. And I also found a Superman Annual number eleven, which is uh, Alan Moore's story uh, where they fight Mongol and uh, the Bad Flower there. So I'm gonna go back when I got a little more time. I'm gonna dig around some more because I think there's probably some gloss gold in them their hills but again it just makes me nuts it's like <laughs> it's just like that other store it's like i just want to go in there and talk to the owner it's like you know what you don't need to pay me and i'm not looking for any like store credit or anything but i'm going to bring in a couple boxes and i'm just going to go through and sort all this for you is that okay <laughs> i think i am that anal and retentive but anyway uh yeah, let's keep moving on we got a few more pickups um I think I got these at the local comic shop because it's another run that I'm trying to finish up. And I picked up an Invaders, number one. And an Invaders, 
number five. And a giant size invaders, number one. And with that, that means I have a complete run of the invaders. First volume. I think I got the annual, and that's the giant DX. This is all I needed. So that's wrapped up. Hooray! Speaking of finishing runs and wrapping things up, let's revisit my goals for 2009 was to uh, wrap up Avengers first volume 100 to 402. Got that done. Uh, Defenders volume 1, 1 through 152. Got that done. Uh, got finished off Nova, finished off She-Hulk, Dazzler, we never really got anywhere. Months on the Prowl, got that done. Supernatural for those, got that done. Not even one big key. I bought like four or five. So pretty happy with that. And on that note... I also, last month, managed to finish up my run on Marvel's first volume of Star Wars with 82. Number 83. I think I read these um, when I was a kid. I think I read these up through, like, when Empire Strikes Back came out and as soon as Han Solo was gone. That was one of those guys. I kind of tapered off. But I came back and read them off and on whenever there was like a Han Solo flashback story. 88. 89. And 90. And then uh, I think when Return of the Jedi hit and Solo came back, I kind of got back on again. 92, and then I kind of tapered off, 93, because at the time I don't think I really liked the art all that much, but the art's kind of growing on me a little bit as I finished up reading all these, and 94, I remember I think I picked up 100 back in the day off the rack, 97. So I already had that. So jumping to 102. One oh three. One oh four. One oh five. And one oh six. Now this issue this ended at issue one oh seven, but I remember buying that off the rack back in the days of yours well and to also finish this up completely i also got the third annual because there's only there was three annuals and i already had the first two and there you go and that'll be our last dust and so and there you go sorry i'm gonna back up there a little bit our goals for 2019 all were met and all were exceeded uh, it was a pretty good year. Probably spent way too much money. Probably more money than I wanted to. Uh, as for what we're going to do in 2020, um, nothing's really set in stone yet. I know um, I want to work on my uh, uh, completing my run of the first volume of The Incredible Hulk. Because um, I'm pretty good on that one from, you know, 200 on. But, of course, from 100 to 180, you got a couple major keys in there. So who knows if that'll ever be done. But... You never know. Um, also looking at... because um, I Oh, yeah, another thing. I did finally finish cataloging everything, too. So I got that done. Hooray! And there's a couple uh, other runs that I was kind of working on before I stopped collecting, you know, probably five, six... Jeez, maybe even ten years ago. Um, working on uh, completing uh, uh, the second volume of Wonder Woman. And also... I got a pretty good start on uh, the first volume of Wonder Woman. I wanted to get it all from her uh, Emma Peel turn. And it was at 177, I think. If not, it's close. 78? Uh, anyway, I have to look. Uh, and also, um, I think it's the third volume of Catwoman. I know there's a couple Adam Hughes covers in there that are kind of expensive. But, <laughs> most of them I already got. So, that shouldn't be too hard. 
And I think beyond that, I think I'm just going to keep working on all those um, those horror comics and monster comics. Um, probably work on some... Um, I got a lot of Marvel, and so I really want to start uh, focusing uh, some on some of those DC books, too. Because those are a ton of fun as well. And so, that'll wrap up 2019. And here's hoping uh, 220 it will be even uh, more fun and uh, more stuff to show you all. So until next time, this is WB Kelso for 4.0 and below. Reminding you to never ever be embarrassed, be embarrassed about what you can Jeez, learn to talk, dude. Never ever be embarrassed about what you can afford comic book wise. And until then, we'll catch you later. See ya. Bye-bye.